Hi guys, I am back today with a, another cooking video. I know I have been rolling these out like crazy, but I'm trying to just give you some like recipe inspiration for your fitness journey. Now this recipe isn't going to be the healthiest recipe in the world. I mean there are definitely much cleaner options when it comes to food, but this is the thing. My channel is about being real and about being realistic. And chances are, if you are watching my channel, then you are somebody who is just kind of getting into it, trying to get back into working out or getting healthy, and you're not striving for perfection. You don't have these huge goals to reach, like fitness competitions or anything like that. So we just keep it real. Although this is a healthy alternative. If you want to do, like, I'll eat this for snack, or you can make it for a party. So today we are going to make a healthy Mexican dish. And what you are going to need is fresh cilantro, two to three large tomatoes, three avocado, a jar of your favorite salsa with no sugar added, garlic powder, sliced olives, which I couldn't find in my store, so I have to slice these manually, and refried beans. You can also use onion powder in your recipe, but I am going to go without that. Right now I'm going to cut up some of this stuff so that it's already prepared and then I will get right back into the recipe. First step in making this recipe is that you are going to want to take your can of refried beans and your jar of salsa and you're going to mix it into a pot on the stove and cook it on low to medium or whatever and stirring thoroughly until it is warm and that everything is mixed together well. Now that my beans and salsa are warm and well combined, I'm going to pour them into my serving dish. I'm using a little rounded dish like this just because it's easier to um, use as a dip, in my opinion. I'm going to add that to my serving dish and set it aside. The next thing we are going to do is make our guacamole that's going to be on top of the beans. So I forgot to mention that you do need the juice of one lime. But what I'm going to do is just take the avocado out of all of the shells. Now I cut them into like slices just because when I squish the avocado together, I want I kind of want there to be chunkier pieces just so that you get the full flavor of the avocado. Now that we have all of the avocado de-shelled, I'm going to take the lime and put the juice in, squeeze as much out of it as I can. Next I'm going to take a little bit of salt, add that to my avocado mixture, and some garlic powder as well. I like garlic, my husband likes garlic, so I'm going to use a good amount of that. Now you can take a potato smasher, a fork, a spoon, whatever you want, and just kind of get it into a little bit of a spreadable mixture. That way it's easier to add on to the beans. see here but like I said I leave some chunks you'll see bigger chunks of the actual avocado along with the you know smushed up avocado just because when I'm using as a dip I want to eat these large pieces of avocado the next thing that you are going to do is take the bean mixture back and you're gonna add your avocado over the bean mixture it does not have to be perfect it's not going to be easy to spread so just kind of layer it on there all over Now that you have the avocado onto the beans, you're going to take your olives and just kind of sprinkle them around. You can place them, you know, if you want, you can sit there and place them one by one, but it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm just not that concerned with, I guess, getting them in every bite. So I have no particular order. I just sprinkle it. I just, whatever I do to get it on there. Then you are going to take your tomatoes. These are two large tomatoes and you're going to do the same thing, sprinkling them onto your mixture. Yeah. 
and your last step is going to be finishing it off with your fresh cilantro. This is about half of a cup of, um, what do you call it, like lightly packed fresh cilantro. And that is it. Now, when I eat this dip, I either eat it by itself because I'm weird like that, or I will buy something like this. This is from Fresh and Easy. It's an organic, unsalted yellow corn tortilla chips. Um, so there's no there's no added salt. So they're about as healthy as you can get. You can always try to make your own. You can buy tortillas and heat those up, and they can become chips. Um, you can bake tortillas. You can put them over the stove. You can use. I don't know, you can use all kinds of things. So have fun with it, and as always with these recipes, you can change things to your liking. I actually didn't mean to buy as big of a can of, re of refried beans as I did. So if I were making this, you know, normally I would buy a little, a smaller can. That way the, the ingredients are more proportioned. But you just add more of what you like, less of what you don't like, and have fun with it. And here you go. This is something that you can enjoy on your own or something that you can provide for party guests when you're having a get together. I hope you guys like this. Again, please thumbs up this video. If you do, leave a comment below with any maybe kind of recipe that you want to see. And I don't know, just leave comments below telling me if you like these cooking videos or if you really don't want to see too many more of them. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.